get a real telephone. George Meany is calling you. Hi, my friend. Hi, Mr. President. Oh, I don't know. They, I'm about ready to get take off, go to Canada, or New Me or Mexico. You think uh, just to <laughs> leave it up to you? Can you handle this crowd? Uh, I think you're doing all right. Uh, shoot away. They're shooting women at night, and they're, yeah. they're yeah. going around with their robes on and yeah. tarring and feathering people. I don't know what to do about it. I thought I'd set a prayer when the, when they broke up down there and Martin Luther King yeah. left. I thought, well, now we've got we out of this one. Yeah. Uh, but then this other thing happened. Other but thing happened. We caught them. We had it right on goods on them. We worked all night, but we caught every damn one of them that fired the shots. Good, good. Mr. President, I wanted to just put in a word for Morris Novick, who I've known for many, many years and who's been our consultant over the years on radio and television stuff. And, uh... He's on this USIA thing. Yes, sir. Uh, that's the fella. Well, do you want him reappointed? I sure do. Well, damn it, if you're not getting everybody around here these days, right, when are you going to let me appoint a Johnson man? Well, I'll tell you, this, this fellow is... Really you just got through appointing Cliff Cases, man, and now you... Will you let me have one appointment down through the year sometime? Uh, I sure will. All uh, right, well, just call him and tell him he'll be reappointed if that's what you want. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. I know who runs the labor movement yeah. in this country, and I know who, who, who's for the country. Yeah. And you are. Well, you know, I'm mighty proud of you. You'll be American before you're a labor leader. And you... I hope I'll stay that well, way. Well, you will. But as long as I'm around here, you will. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. George Meany on 90. George? Yes, Mr. President. Uh, I didn't hear from you, but I assume that you're happy about this boy Zagoria on the National Labor Relations Board. They told me they cleared him. Yes, yes. Well, um, we had to... Uh, all, all the business men have given me hell about it, so if you're not happy, I played hell. No, we're, we're very happy with it. Uh, I thought it might be good to appeal to Case 2 and the Republicans, because we need them on some of these social measures yeah, once yeah, in a while. Yeah, he was with Case. Now, the second thing I want to do, I want you to kind of hit your people up. Martin Luther King's going out here and, and, and doing a lot of parading and holding up a lot of stuff instead of getting it through. Yeah. I've got our education bill. Yes. through the house and your boys were extremely helpful and did a good job number one yes. I want you to make a note tell them president called you and thanks you for what yep. they did second thing Morris has agreed this morning to get that bill out without any amendments and uh, have it up Tuesday he and Hill and uh, and Mansfield have all agreed so that's to come up next Tuesday now what we really need and your people got the best uh, the best uh, machinery to do it uh, uh, we we got to get some of these three or four priority bills out of the way so we can get the things that you're all are interested in. Yeah. Now, we've already got Appalachian passed. That's number one. We've got education, yeah. and we've got medical care, and we've got voter rights. Then uh, the other things are not too important. We can get to some other things. So we've got one out of the way, three to go. Now, education's already passed one house, so we've got to get it out of the Senate. So yeah. make a note there, education. Uh, that's next Tuesday. Yeah, now, that's next Tuesday. That's for next Tuesday. Comes up in the Senate. Moore says he'll have it out of committee by next Tuesday. Good. Now, what your boys ought to do that handle the Senate, they ought to start out on, uh, they got about a week and one day now, to see which one's going to cause them trouble. Yeah. Very confidentially, I think maybe Bobby may want to add some amendments or something. Bobby Kennedy, they ought to go to him and say, please, for God's sakes now, Labor wants you to help us uh, get this bill reported like the House did so we can get it out of the way and get to some other things. Uh, we'll have, uh, I've got them to agree to try to get a rule next week on medical care. Yeah. You see, what we want to do, George, before we get into these fights on 14B and the Negro uh, clan and yeah. stuff like that, we want to get the things for the people yep. so they can't get mad at us. Now, a fellow like Lester Hill will get mad at us, get in trouble in Alabama, and he won't report education or medical care yeah. or anything. Yeah. So let's get them behind us in the next month. Okay. Then, uh, then we can all level on the big things. So, uh, yeah. Tell your boys 
that they did a wonderful job in the House. Now let's wrap up education. Yep. Let's get this voting rights on out of the committee. They've had a hearing stuff in Sellers Committee, yeah, well, and it's I, ready to go. I, I spoke there. Yeah. That's good. Then, uh, then we got to get health care, and health care is ready to go in the House. They've already reported it. Wilbur Mills two yeah. to one. Yeah, and as soon as we can get uh, Dick Bowling, they ought to get a hold of him and uh, the labor crowd, Madden and so forth, on Rules Committee, and say, God Almighty, boys, let's get this down there so we can vote on it for Easter, because Harry Bird will try to hold it up. And we want to get these things out so they won't, they can't clip us when we come up with our stuff. 14B and, and unemployment compensation and, and the jobs and things of that nature. Uh, because you see what they do now, if we, if we don't take any interest, we just say, well, we're waiting on our stuff. Well, they don't give a damn. The average, the average millionaire doesn't care whether you got medical care or not. We give that for the laboring folks. The average millionaire don't give a damn about voters' rights. The average millionaire doesn't care about education. That's for these kids under 2,000, and that's what helps us. So you get Andy and your best people hitched up, number one, to get education through. Number yeah. two, to get medical care out of the Rules Committee. Yeah. Number three, to get voters' rights on the floor as soon as you can. Yeah. Then, uh, when we get that behind us, then you and I can sit down and we can get our other stuff lined up. Okay. Now, these boys over here just can't do this water by themselves. It's yeah, got well, to I'll have... Get, I'll get Andy right away. And you better get some of these associates that want some help on minimum wages and other things and tell, uh, tell your crowd to get the David Dubinskys and the rest of them to send a few wires in here and let's get going on this education. Yeah, yeah. Thank okay. you, George. Fine. Bye. who is not uh, too stable a lot of the time and yeah. she he's framed up for the Republican from Colorado yeah. and he says the South's not getting uh, as much money as it ought to get under this bill I see. now everybody can fuss a little bit about a formula you may want two dollars and somebody may want a dollar ninety and uh, uh, the important thing is that the federal government's giving its resources to education now if we amend it I don't believe I can get it back through Howard Smith again. I got it by but one vote. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, there are three doubtful people. Randolph of West Virginia. Yep. Yarbrough's trying to get him to go with him. And yeah. Yarbrough. Well, we can we talk to Yarbrough. And, talk to Randolph, too. And just say to him this. Now, that's Yarbrough and Randolph. And, and Hill. And Hill. Yeah, and I, Hill. Yeah, and I, they, Yarbrough's got an amendment that takes half of... Edith Green's proposal yeah. and half the administration and it gives Texas about two million more yeah. than it would get under our bill. Yeah. But uh, two million out of 76 million yeah. is not very much when you endanger the whole 76. Yeah. Now they don't know the house thing. But we had to beg and borrow and bribe and take John Young, this Catholic boy from Texas, yeah. and promise him the world with a fence around it. Yeah. And I can't get it back through. And if they had an amendment, then I've got to go to Howard Smith again and get a rule. So what I think, if you could do it, if you just take those three people and say, now, fellas, uh, I have given up all of my stuff. I've held back here, and labor's waited because I want the federal government to get into this education business. And if you'll get us this bill without amending it, then next year I'll take you down to the president and we'll improve the formula if, uh, if uh, you want it. But don't make us go back to Howard Smith because you'll, you'll endanger the whole bill. Okay. That's the argument. Let me I'll, know, George. I'll, I'll start right to it. Thank you.